Welcome to this edition of Game Time, seen exclusively on your Go90 app. Vince Cellini, Steve Smith, and Mike Fratello with you. We are talking San Antonio Spurs, who have been perfect at 9-0 and on the road, and they'll put that on the line Saturday at Washington. They've also won eight straight overall. And, Smitty, it hasn't been just the stars for them. It's been a really collective effort throughout the roster, particularly the Spurs bench. Yeah, for sure. And I think that comes down to Washington's bench versus the Spurs bench. The Spurs allow their players to get a lot of time, and they're talented, a little bit more talented than the Washington Wizards uh, bench. And then I think also rebounding the basketball. I think that's where Washington can make up some of that bench because they have some guys that will rebound the basketball. And if you really look at it, maybe because they're making a lot of shots, the Spurs are 28th in rebounding. So if Washington has a chance to beat them, it's going to be bench and rebounding. And Boston, interesting, losing to San Antonio and guys like Davis Bertan, uh, David Lee, and of course, Patty Mills stepped up. We talk about some of the reserves and Patty Mills, Mike, turns out had a, a starring role in that win over the Boston Celtics. Doesn't it come down to execution at the end of the game and having veteran guys that have been through it over and over again? If you take a look, they are all, meaning the Spurs, looking at Coach Popovich, give the signal what play we're supposed to run just under a minute, leading by three points. Well, they get into their two-guard set, and they will eventually flash Aldridge up into the high post area. They run a double cut. Could be a split off the high post area with Patty Mills going first and Ginobili second. Or Ginobili can fake running the split and back cut. And that's the decision he makes. When they get him down on the baseline, they force the defense to make the first decision. Ginobili screens, Mills come off. Does the defense switch or stay? Well, if you watch Smart, he starts to go with Mills. Then he kind of changes his mind all of a sudden. He can't decide, wait a minute, was there a switch called or not? The screener, Kawhi Leonard, is coming down. He's watching smart. If he goes over the top, he moves up. If he goes to the bottom side, he moves down. Well, Mills reads the screen the same way, and he fades to the deep corner. You can see the confusion. All of a sudden, you've got a wide open shooter in the corner. Again, from a different angle, Ginobili's screen on the baseline. Watch smart. Am I going? Am I staying? What am I doing? There's the fade by Patty Mills. Wide open look at the basket. There's the three to seal the game. And that's how they do it. 9-0 and on the road, looking for 10-0 and Saturday NBA TV at Washington. That's going to do it for us. Steve Smith, Mike Fratello. I'm Vince Cellini. Thanks for watching.